Frugal Sim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is the Frugal Sim news for today, Sunday, October the 21st. First up, Flight One's ground environment for prepared. GEX or Ground Environment X is now available for prepared, but it's now called GEP. Yeah, GEP 3D in fact. Now for the longest time on FSX, GEX or GEP was viewed as the alternative to FTX Global, but Orbex have pretty much had the prepared platform all to themselves until now. GEP 3D, I, I really can't say that name repeatedly, is a complete replacement for all ground textures and autogen worldwide throughout the sim. It features enhanced textures to give you clearer visuals as low as 250 to 500 feet, optimized and high volume autogen everywhere, one meter per pixel resolution textures, and the textures by the way are only 1K, which speeds up the loading and reduces memory usage. It includes all seasons and the night lighting environments as well, exceptional cloud shadow and lighting response on the ground, real-time status interface readout, no idea what that means, and the ability to quickly enable and disable the product on the fly. Don't see the point of that at all. But anyway, it apparently works with all Orbex regional sceneries, but for obvious reasons is not compatible with Orbex FTX Global. There are two licenses available, academic and professional, and apparently you're supposed to buy the license that matches the one you qualify for with prepared. I am not about to go down that whole Lockheed licensing black hole argument once again. Figure it out for yourself. GEP 3D is available right now. It will just set you back $89. More information at the Flight One store linked in the show notes below. As a side note, kind of an editorial side note here, I did for a while on FSX go back and forth between using GEX and UTX, the two go together, and FTX Global. And realistically, there's actually quite a lot in this product that competes extremely well with Orbex's FTX Global. It really is just a matter of preference. Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Next up, Sky Simulations MD11 for Prepared. Sky Simulations have just published version 2 for Prepared and somehow I didn't even know that they'd published version 1. So this is an entirely new product for me. The new version, however, models both the General Electric CF6-80 and the Pratt & Whitney 4460 engine variants in both passenger and cargo configurations. New features include dynamic wing flex, high resolution textures throughout, dynamic shine effects, a new fuselage model, animated ground personnel, massive and accurate sound set, and a flight model that's been validated by airline pilots and that performs by the published numbers. In the cockpit, you'll find a full set of simulated systems, including air conditioning and pressurization, as well as fuel, electrical, and hydraulic systems simulations. Now, I don't think this is an entirely study level simulation because they do mention in their marketing blurb that they are using Eric Masciano's Easy FMC as the basis for the aircraft's own FMC. Sky Simulations MD-11 for Prepared is available right now. It's actually available for all versions of FSX and Prepared 2 through 4, and the price is $59.99. Next up, the Just Flight Duchess 76. Just Flight have shown off more detail behind their upcoming Duchess Model 76. This is being developed by the same internal team that worked on the Arrow 3, the 152, and the Hawk. The Duchess 76 is a four-seat twin-engine T-tail with a cruise speed of 155 knots, a ceiling of 20,000 feet, and a range of over 700 nautical miles. It is fully IFR capable in the Just Flight version, and Just Flight also say that with the aircraft's excellent handling characteristics, it's the ideal step up for the study pilot from single-engine aircraft like the PA-28. It was developed as well with hands-on access and reference to an actual Model 76, and it has an accurate flight model, authentic sound set, as well as custom simulations, the engine management, electrical, fuel, hydraulics, and autopilot. More information on the development at the JustFlight.com link in the show notes below, and more news on a price and release date as soon as I have it. Over now to explain and the release of the Hot Star TBM-900 from X Aviation. Now, this is the fourth aircraft in X Aviation's Take Command line of study level aircraft for X-Plane. You might remember the IXCG 737 was part of that line. Hot Start is a new company formed by the developers of the Take Command Saab, which was a phenomenal aircraft and better pushback. The goal was to produce an aircraft that is at once a study level simulation, but also highly accessible. For example, the first time you load up the aircraft, you get a complete narrated walkthrough of the cockpit and how to start it, which is very awesome. 
It features a completely accurate flight model. One of the testers of the product actually owns a TBM 900 and the hot start version was also sent out to other TBM owners for verification. It features persistent aircraft state. Every switch is exactly how you leave it between flights. Batteries drain, tires lose pressure and so on. And there's also a complete maintenance hanger for you to inspect and repair any damage. And sound of the trumpets, this one tracks the cost of ownership which is something I have been asking for in simulated aircraft for years. Now, you can also independently track state across different airframes, which is a very cool feature as well. It features a custom G1000 with integrated synthetic vision that even supports integrated live charts. And in a future update, you'll be able to pull those live charts from your Navigraph account. There are literally hundreds more features, far more than I can cover in a news update. Just suffice to say, the TBM 900 looks to be just about as revolutionary as all the other aircraft in X Aviation's Take Command series. You should check it out at the xaviation.com link in the show notes below. The product is available right now and it will cost you $64.95 for X-Plane 11. And finally, Collimata's Concorde. Collimata have been showing off screenshots of their upcoming Concorde for X-Plane 11. Now, Florian mentions in the post that they are working hard to animate and make interactive as many switches as possible in the Concorde's cockpit and have really worked hard to capture the age and elegance of this iconic aircraft. It's still very early days yet. Collimata say that they aim to get the aircraft into an early access program in March 2019, which will be 50 years after the actual first flight of Concorde. Stay tuned to the x forums linked in the show notes below for more news and release information. That's it. For this week's news show, as always, if I did miss something, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll take a look to see whether I should include it in next week's show. Until then, though, thanks for taking the time to watch this. My name is Frugal, and I will see you all very soon.